Welcome to the New York Marine Rescue Center. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization located on the east end of Long Island. Our mission is to preserve and protect the marine environment through conservation efforts, including rescue, rehabilitation, education, and research. We are New York's primary responders for sick and injured seals, dolphins and porpoises, small toothed whales, and sea turtles, and the only facility in the state that is permitted to rehabilitate pinnipeds and sea turtles. Here in New York, we can typically expect to see seals resting on our beaches or swimming along our shorelines between the months of January and May. The five species that we can observe here are ringed, hooded, harp, gray seals, and harbor seals. While ringed, hooded, and harp seals are arctic species and seen less frequently, gray and harbor seals are very common in this area. A majority of the individuals that are sighted this time of year are pups and yearlings. Moms and pups do not stay together very long, as seals have one of the shortest lactation periods of any mammal. In fact, hooded seals only nurse their pups for about four days before leaving her little one to fend for themselves, so it is not unusual that pups and yearlings are found alone. And while adults are known to be in close proximity with one another at their resting sites, seals are solitary animals. Not all seals that are found on the beach or on a shoreline are stranded or sick. They could simply be taking a much needed break. This is called hauling out. It is a common behavior amongst all species of seals where they choose a spot along their travels to rest for a few hours up to a few days. Due to the growing population of seals on Long Island, seal sightings are more common on our beaches than ever before. Therefore, the New York Marine Rescue Center must determine if a seal is healthy and resting or in need of rescue and rehabilitation. There are certain characteristics we can observe to help determine if an animal is stranded or not. During our evaluations, we assess a seal's body condition, hydration, and behavior. A seal in good body condition can be described as robust and compared to an encased sausage. We are able to determine its hydration due to the presence of wet rings around the eyes, called hydration rings. And normal resting behavior is when the seal is lying on its side, with one flipper tucked under its body and its head and hind flippers raised in the air, or as we call it, banana pose. A seal that may require rehab would have the body condition that is emaciated. It may have dry eyes and a nose, indicating dehydration, and could be lying flat on its stomach. In addition to natural causes that necessitate seal rehabilitation, the New York Marine Rescue Center also responds to seals that have stranded due to injuries or wounds from natural predators, as well as human interactions such as boat strikes and entanglements. It is regrettably not unusual to spot seals that are entangled by man-made objects such as discarded fishing gear, plastic bags, and balloons. It is up to all of us to limit these occurrences. When the New York Marine Rescue Center responds to an animal and brings them back to our facility, we give them an initial physical to get a better understanding of its overall health and condition. Our vets meet with us soon after to evaluate blood reports and body condition. Together, we devise an individualized rehabilitation plan for that animal. While in our care, seals will be placed in a cold freshwater habitat even though they are mostly a saltwater animal. Many of them are dehydrated when they get to the rescue center, so this gives them complete access to a source of drinking water. There's a whirlpool feature included in every habitat. This encourages the seal to swim against a current as they regain their strength. They have the simulation of catching their own prey when we deliver frozen fish as their food source, and are given their very own ledge to haul out and rest on while they continue to recover. There is no set amount of time for how long a rehabilitation process can take. A seal's recovery will depend on their initial illness or injury and the progress they are making. However, seals can be released back to the wild year-round. Most of our releases are public and we encourage you to be a part of their send-off. On behalf of everyone at the New York Marine Rescue Center, we thank you for your support.